Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here. Today I'm going to be going through my seasonal build for Asheron's Call, the Levistress Auric League, or Season 1 on Levistress. Now, if you watched my video breaking down the league, you know there are some interesting class-specific requirements for how you can build your character, which is quite different from what Asheron's Call typically does, where you can do whatever you want. So I figured I would go through what I went with. So I decided to play a Gear Crafter. Gear Crafter gets you the alchemy, two-handed combat, magic item tinkering, and weapon tinkering, and as a bonus skill you get to specialize magic defense. So the first class that you take you get to specialize the skills for, but because magic item tinkering and weapon tinkering require augmentations in order to specialize them, I don't have those specialized yet because I haven't used the augmentations yet. For my first multi-class, which I was able to do at level 25, I went with Samurai. Samurai gets you missile defense, recklessness, and melee defense. I really wanted to have melee defense with two-handed combat. Without being able to use a shield and fight at the same time, I think you really need to have melee defense. Now that's a lot of skill credits going into getting melee defense because you don't really need missile defense. Now recklessness is kind of nice, but it took up a ton of my skill credits. So at 50, I went with Hunter. So Hunter gets you fletching, cooking, and item enchantment. So I really wanted this for item enchantment, but cooking has been pretty useful. Fletching, obviously worthless. I do use cooking quite a bit to like make mushroom food uh, or to use rations. And for a while, I was also making beers. Um, I'm having a huge issue though with burden on this character, even with 100 strength. So I think the next augmentation I get is going to be one of the burden reducing ones. Yeah, burden is just something that I'm struggling with right now. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. And then at level 100, I cross-classed into Vagabond. Vagabond gets me dual wield worthless lockpick which is really nice for running some quests and getting titles that way and then dirty fighting my plan is when i hit uh 225 with two luminance seal credits or 275 i'm going to get rid of vagabond and i'm going to get spirit summoner which gets me leadership assess creature and most importantly creature enchantment so you'll notice that right now i do not have life magic or creature enchantment so buffing is a huge issue I use the buffing array in the Rosu Morta chapter house to get all level 7 life spells for protections. That has been a huge help, and it's the only reason I've been able to actually play this character successfully. And for creature spells, I get help from friends or people that I'm playing with, or um, I do have some through my gear. Now, you'll also notice that I do not have healing, so I'm using Chugs. Uh, Tyrion Cap Wafers restore 90 health when used and are pretty light, and then. Uh, the reason I'm really struggling with burden is because I'm carrying around Tomb Rock Salted Meats, which are super heavy, and I'm also using rations. So combat has been uh, a little bit tough because if I do start to take damage, then I'm just like sometimes caught in a cycle of chugging and I have to run away or jump away and try to heal that way. Now, the other thing I'm doing to get over not having healing is I'm using two Aetheria with Surge of Regeneration. So that heals 30 health every couple of seconds if it triggers. And some of the first Luminance augmentations that I got on this character was Aura of Aetheric Vision to try to get that to proc quicker or more often. I'm level 220 right now, which I think is pretty good. Uh, super happy. The league has been going on for about a month, uh, so that, that's not bad. I know there are some players that are ahead of me, but I uh, feel pretty good about where I'm at with this character considering the limitations. Right now I have 159 titles, and for the bonus points, I have 170 bonus points. So in total, uh, this character has 439 points, which is pretty good. The creators and the server admin put together a nice leaderboard, uh, so you can get your character on a leaderboard for the server, which is really nice, and I'm currently in fourth place, which feels pretty good uh, for the amount of time that I've been playing. I've gotten five augmentations so far, and I've been prioritizing just making my character better instead of quality of life things, so I don't have Clutch of the Miser or no drop. Uh, I still drop my buffs when I die. The reason I'm not going for that is because I'm also carrying around rares. I'm not playing with a mule or anything. I'm carrying everything that I find or want to keep on this one character. So I figured if I'm going to carry the rares and I'm going to drop a body anyway, I might as well just not worry about getting those augmentations yet. I've been able to land quite a few imbues, being, you know, one of the weapon tinkering characters uh, for the season. So it's really nice, you know, even in combat the other day, I added brass to my weapon just to make it like a little bit better uh, when we were going to fight some hollow minions. So that was kind of fun, something that I've never done before. My gear is terrible. I'm still using 
the blooded uh, Platinum Invader Lord Helm, which is a, a quest you can do when you're level 100. Um, but I do have a couple of pieces of uh, Perfect Light, the uh, Pauldrons and the Empowered Robe of Perfect Light, and then I have two pieces of the Celestial Hand Society Armor, which is nice, so get a little, little bonus from that. Um, I also have the custom bracelets from the Tomb of Maquat quest, so these are double epic with augmented damage too, which is really nice. And I got a red Colosseum win. We were able to win Colosseum, uh, which is pretty impressive for <laughs> what these builds are. So yeah, just want to do a quick video going over my build. Really enjoying this first season on Levistress. Let me know in the comments if you've been playing this season or what you think about this character. And thanks for watching.